Hello, this is Kaki Lee and welcome to the Abundant Goddess Show, where I'll be sharing daily bite-sized pearls of wisdom I've picked up along my life journey that has allowed me to embrace and unleash my inner abundant goddess. And that's exactly what I want for you, to embrace and unleash your inner abundant goddess. I love talking about anything and everything to do with life, but I especially love talking about money, mindset and energy, which is the main focus here. If you like what you hear, make sure you subscribe to my show so you don't miss out on your daily dose of wisdom for myself. And also follow me and let me know what you think on Facebook and Instagram at Abundance with Kaki Lee. Now let's get into it. Welcome to the Abundant Goddess Show and day 14 of my 40 Days to 40 series, where I share 40 things I've learned in my life so far over 40 days. Today's Pearl of Wisdom is Amid It. This is something that I used to be so scared of doing, admitting if I was wrong or if I did something wrong. Because what would other people think? What if people don't think I'm awesome anymore? What if people don't think I'm perfect anymore? What if people don't think I'm as good or as smart or as wise or as like error-free and perfect as I was before? What if I get told off? Those were the things that used to run through my head when I did something wrong or I was wrong about something. And if you think about it, as a child, if you did something wrong, the conse- you'll be scared of the consequences. Oh, my gosh, I'm going to get hold of my parents. My parents are going to go off at me. As an employee, it's like, oh, shit. I'm going to get fired. The boss is going to, you know, rip into me as a student. Oh, my gosh, the teacher's going to tell me off. Oh, my God, the teacher's, you know, going to um, do X, Y, Z. I can't even think what the teacher would do. But, you know, you get the gist of it all. And nowadays, I actually would be the first one to admit if I was wrong. I have no problem admitting that I'm wrong. And I actually get quite upset when people don't admit that they're wrong or they did something wrong and I know they did it. Because I realize that when you admit to your mistakes, you are taking responsibility for your action. You are acting in integrity. And with that comes respect. Because you are owning it. When no one else is owning it. You are admitting to your mistakes. And there's nothing wrong with that. Rather than sweeping it under the rug and when people find out that you made a mistake and trying to make some lame-ass excuse about why it happened, not respectable at all. So admit it and own it. When I was working as a manager, I would be the first one to admit I did something wrong. And my staff would, I think, found it quite amusing. But what happened is that it built a culture where people felt safe to make mistakes, that they knew that they wouldn't get in trouble. I would speak to them, yes, but I'm not going to rip into them. I want to understand what happened rather than going, oh, my God, you did this, da, 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 etc. So one time I had this staff member who was very new and he did something wrong and he refused to admit it. I was really angry and I don't get angry. I'm not someone that gets angry. Ask anyone that has worked with me. I don't get angry. If I get angry, I'm really angry. I was really angry because he refused to admit that he made a mistake and he kept making freaking excuses. I was just so upset because I loved that staff member so much because he has so much potential and he is so lovely, right? But I was so upset that he didn't have the courage to just admit it and then we can move on. (sighs) And the thing is, just in case you didn't realize, you're a human. If you're not a human, then you probably won't be making mistakes because that's, you know, there is a term called human error. And that's why it's okay to make mistakes. As long as 
your mistake was not intentional or malicious. It was just a mistake that happened because you're a human being. Then it's okay. And it's okay to admit it. Take responsibility. Have integrity in your actions. Because like I said, it builds respect. It builds trust with people. And when you have respect and trust, gosh, you can do so many things with people because people respect you and trust you. What people don't like is when you lie about things that you did and you don't own it and you don't admit it. Because I've worked with lots of those people before as well. And I had no trust and no respect for them. So I ask that you think about all the times in your life where you made a mistake and how you handled it and ask yourself, did I act in integrity in that moment? Did I admit it or was I too scared? And then ask yourself why you were scared and then tell yourself that, you know what, if you actually admitted it, people would have respected you more. And one more thing is that when you admit to your mistakes, we can actually, or you can actually go and find out what happened. If you're in a job situation, you know, your boss can find out what happened together with you and work out how to prevent it from happening again. By you not admitting your mistake, not only are you not growing as a person, you are preventing other people from learning and preventing them from making the same mistake that you did. You're doing a disservice not only to yourself, but to everyone around you. And if you're in a relationship and you did something wrong or you were wrong about something, admit it. I do that with my husband all the time because I might just go off on a tangent. I'm like, oh, yeah, sorry, I was wrong. And then he'll be really happy and he's like, ha, 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 ha I'm right. <laughs> We just have this thing. But, you know, if you do something wrong, admit it. Say it. Talk about it. And then what is the plan moving forward? Rather than not saying anything, feeling like shit that you're keeping a secret from your partner or your friend and then not being able to move past it. And I am guilty still sometimes of doing that right, of not being able to speak up about how I feel about something. Not wrong, but, you know, just how I feel. Because I'm too scared to hurt the other person. That's a different conversation, but just saying that it takes courage to do all these things. And my wish for you for this episode is that you have the courage, the integrity, and that you take responsibility for your actions and admit it when you are wrong or you did something wrong. And that's the end of the show and day 14 of my 40 Days to 40 series. Please share this episode with anyone that needs a reminder to admit it. If you like what you heard, make sure you subscribe to my show and remember to follow me over at Facebook and Instagram at Abundance with Kaki Lee fun things happening there leading up to my 40th birthday on the 30th of may details of the first giveaway is there already really exciting and lastly if you're interested in working with me or learning from me and learning about multiple sources of income dm me on facebook or instagram or email me at hello at kakili.com